Okay, in this video, I'm going to um, do a sketch and a setup uh, for a definite integral um, for, you know, the first half of, like, calculating the area between two curves. All right, um, it is part two in a series of videos, and so I'll probably do at least one more, if not two more videos um, that actually go all the way through and where you're actually working out and calculating the area of two curves. Uh, but the two examples that I'm going to look at today are just going to sketch and set up the definite integral. All right, so let's suppose that our um, example here says sketch and set up the definite interval that gives the area of the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x squared plus 2, y equals negative x, x equals 0, and x equals 1. All right, so I'm going to start out by doing a uh, really rough sketch of this. All right, I've got y equals x squared plus 2. All right, you should recognize, hopefully, that that's a parabola, and it has been shifted up 2. All right, so really rough sketch here. There's going to be my parabola there. All right, y equals negative x. All right, that's the 45-degree uh, angle with a negative slope, so it's going to go in this direction. I'll put that on. All right, now I've got x equals 0 and x equals 1. All right, so x equals 1 is going to be basically that y-axis right there. And then I'm going to make this kind of big so I've got some room in there. x equals 1, let's say it's right in there. All right, so I want the area that is bounded by all of those. All right, so I am looking at the area that is inside here. Okay, now let's go ahead and identify some of those curves. All right, this uh, parabola right here is y equals x squared plus 2. This line right here is y equals negative x. And then I'm going through 0 and through 1 right there. All right, now I am going to go ahead and put that representative rectangle on there. All right, everything is in terms of x. All right, I've got two x values from 0 to 1 here. All right, so I am going to be doing a vertical representative rectangle here and it is going to be a delta x how wide that rectangle would be if I was doing the Riemann sum type thing here the summing up of those rectangles to calculate this area alright now as you recall we um, are going to do a definite integral on this so we are going to integrate everything has to terms come from um, in terms of x so I'm going to integrate from 0 to 1 all right, and then I've got to integrate top curve minus bottom curve. All right, so my top curve is x squared plus 2. So I'm going to integrate x squared plus 2 minus this bottom curve. And this bottom curve is a negative x. And then dx. All right, everything is in terms of x. My equations are in terms of x. I have a d of x and I've chosen my limits of integration there from my x-axis. All right, now you can um, go ahead and simplify that a little bit here. If I'm subtracting a negative x, that'd be a positive x, and then I would probably um, put it like a trinomial here. So 0 to 1, x squared plus x plus 2 dx. All right, so sketching and then setting up the definite integral. Okay, for the first example. All right, now for my second example. All right, this one is going to be, uh, again, just sketch and set up the definite integral that gives the area of the region bounded by the graphs of x equals 2y the second minus 2 and x equals 2y plus 2. All right, so these are in terms of y. All right, now let's uh, analyze some of those curves for a little bit here. Um, let's take a look at this one right here. All right, you should recognize that that one is going to be a line. All right, and to easily be able to sketch it, I'm going to go ahead and solve for y real quick. All right, so 2y um, is going to be equal to x minus 2. I just moved the y over because I'm going to want that y on that left-hand side anyway. All right, divide through by that. I'll have a y equals 1 half x minus 1. Okay, so I can clearly see it's got going to go through negative 1, going to have a slope of 1 half there. All right, now for this one right here, all right, hopefully you recognize that as being a horizontal parabola. Okay, and if you're at really good at sketching um, your family of functions, then you can get a rough sketch on this pretty simple. All right, um, I can look at this and I know it's going to open to the right. So let's put opens right. 
And then um, that minus 2 right there is going to tell me that it shifts to the left. All right, so that's just if you are you know, really good with your family of functions and everything. All right, so let's start with a rough sketch and see what we can come up with. Let's set the rough sketch right in here. So I'm going to do it really, really small. All right, so I said um, a line here goes through negative 1 with a slope of 1 half. So let's just do a really rough sketch here. All right, so there's that line right there. Now I need a parabola. It's going to open to the right, and it's going to shift 2 to the left. Okay, so there's 2 to the left, and then opens to the right. Okay, now with this one, okay, I'm going to need more than just a rough sketch because I'm going to need to know this intersection point and this intersection point, and I've done such a rough sketch, all right, that may or may not be exactly in the right spot. That, I have no clue where it's at. So I really am going to need to do a little bit more here with this. Let's go ahead and label our rough sketch a little bit more so we're in detail here. Let's go. This is x equals um, 2y plus 2. All right, and then the parabola here, I'll put it down here, x equals 2y squared minus 2. All right, let's go ahead and identify the, the area inside there that I want to do. All right, and since everything's in terms of y, I'm going to need a representative rectangle that is um, horizontal. All right, so there would be my representative rectangle, and then that's going to have a delta y, however wide it is. All right, now, since I need to actually locate these points of intersection, all right, it might be a while since you've done that, um, setting the two curves equal to each other, then you can find those points of intersection. So let's actually do that algebraically so that we are right here. Um, finding points of intersection. Okay, so I need to set those two curves equal to each other. So I'm going to take the 2y squared minus 2 and set it equal to the 2y plus 2. All right, looks like it's going to be a quadratic here, so I'm going to move everything to the left. I'm going to have a 2y squared minus 2y, all right, and then minus 4 equals 0. Um, <clears throat> got a greatest common factor there of 2, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. y squared minus y minus 2. Continuing to solve this equation here, uh, setting that 2 equal to 0 is not going to give us anything. All right, trying to factor this inside right here. Let's see, I'm going to have a y and a y, and it looks like I can use a 2 and a 1 equals 0 there. Uh, to get a negative 1 in the middle, I'm going to have to put a minus here and a plus here. Setting both of those equal to 0, I am going to get a y equals negative 1, and over here I'm going to get a y equals Two. All right, so then there are going, that's going to be what I'm going to use for my integral. All right, so this one, all right, my sketch actually turned out pretty good there. Kind of did go through negative one there, and this would go through two on the y axis there. So now we can for sure go ahead and be very accurate in the way we set up our integral here. So we're going to run our integral from negative one to two. All right, and this time I am going to do right curve minus left curve, I think, on this one. All right, so I'm going to go the 2y plus 2, and then minus the curve on the left, which is 2y squared minus 2. And then I've got to remember, since this is all in terms of y, and these values came off my y, that I have to have a dy right there. Um, again, I'm probably going to simplify this out. Um, I can subtract all these quantities, simplify this, and put the, my y squared first. So simplifying inside there, I'm going to integrate a negative 1 to 2, and then negative 2y squared plus 2y plus 4 dy. Okay, so setting that integral up there. All right, so just a couple quick examples of uh, sketching and setting up your definite integral. Um, when you sketch your uh, even your, your picture here, even though it is a sketch, I would highly recommend labeling each one of the curves and putting in that representative rectangle. Um, later on, when we go a little bit farther and, and look at some volume and stuff, we're really going to need to know about that um, 
that representative rectangle. So you might as well get in the habit now while we're doing area between two curves, putting that uh, rectangle in there and it'll make later a whole lot easier. Uh, so I hope you're liking the videos. And if you do, go ahead and give me a like on it. Thanks.